In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix Battlebit Remastered, saying that you don't have Easy Anti-Cheat installed when trying to launch the game, or if you're being kicked by Easy Anti-Cheat. So there's a few things that we can do to resolve these problems, and the first thing that I'm going to say is to ensure that your security software is not causing the problem. So quite often security programs can block programs and services and things like that, so if you have a third party security program installed on your computer, go into the settings and make sure that you have Easy Anti-Cheat excluded and added to the exceptions list. Also a lot of third party security programs have the option to turn it into a game mode or a passive mode, so turn on that option if you're able to. And once you've done that, go ahead and launch Battlebit again and then see if that resolved the problem. If it didn't, then the next thing that you need to do is open up Steam. And once you have Steam open, you then need to go to your game library, find Battlebit Remastered and right click on it and go to manage and you then need to go to browse local files. So the next thing that we need to do is find the Easy Anti-Cheat folder. So you're now going to right click on this and go rename and we're just going to add BK to the end of the folder name. Once you've done that, press enter on your keyboard and the next thing that you need to do is go to your C drive and then go to program files x86. Once you're in this folder, we are then looking for the easy anti-cheat folders. So you can see there are two here. You then need to do the same again, right click, rename and then go BK. And we then need to do the same for the other folder, rename and go BK and then enter. You then need to go back to Steam. But before we go any further, I just want to bring up about my program that I've created. This is EGU. So as you can see, this is the home screen and it allows you to clear the cache files for game launchers and also your graphics card. You can also use the game files tab to locate save data and config files. And I will also be adding many other options soon, including Battlebit Remastered, which I should hopefully get out this week. So if you do want an easy to use program that will allow you to do many things that helps out gamers on PC, then go ahead and click on the link that's in the description below to head on over to our website where you can get EGU for free. You can also remove old graphics card files. So you can see that I've already cleared out my old driver files. So that's easy gamer utility. I just wanted to bring it up because it can help you out. So once you've opened up Steam, the next thing that we need to do is right click on Battlebit Remastered and go to Properties and you then need to go to Installed Files and we then need to click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. So this is now going to find some files that need replacing and it's then going to replace those files. So you can see there it's done that. If we then close this down, the next thing that you need to do is click on Play and you then need to go Install and Repair Easy Anti-Cheat and then click on Play. This is now going to repair those folders and replace them that we just renamed. If for some reason it didn't work, but it should do, if I open up File Explorer quickly, I will show you. So you can see there we've got C program files and it's actually recreated that folder and replaced Easy Anti-Cheat. If I was to then go to the location where Battlebits installed, so if we go to wrong option there, right click, go Manage and Browse and then go on to there, you can see it's also replaced the easy anti-cheat folder. If for some reason the files didn't get replaced, then you can just go back and then rename the BK folder back to what it originally was. And also that's the same for the Battlebit remaster folder. Another thing that you can do if you'll have an issue still is to launch the game by double clicking on easy anti-cheat instead of Battlebit. So instead of launching the game from Steam, just go to the location where you installed the game and then double click on this option here and it will then begin to launch the game. So that does pretty much bring me to the end of this video. If you are still having issues as well, then the only other thing you can really do is instead of clicking on quick play when you're in game, use the server browser to choose the server that you want to join into as this can also sometimes help. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.